Hello everyone. Today's new video and uh, this video is about me drawing a uh, landscape that has smoke that looks like a heart and uh, and I'm uploading it because today is Valentine's Day and I wanted to discuss such a difficult topic called love. To be honest, I'm struggling right now when I'm trying to think what I have to say and I'm struggling and I'm struggling not only in English but in Russian too because this topic is so difficult and complex to me but I'll hope that I'll be able to say something so what is love <laughs> baby don't hurt me I'm sorry for this uh, People were writing about love from the very beginning. Poets, philosophers, I don't know, writers, scientists, everyone experiencing this thing and everyone is talking about these things from time to time or maybe someone ded dedicated whole life to, ex to exploring such difficult topic. When I decided that I want to talk about this topic, I looked at the name of the holiday it said that in english it says that it's uh, valentine's day it's a love day but if you look at the russian language to my native language it says that it's not only valentine's day but day for everyone who is in love while it seems the same i think these two names of the holidays have difference in these two languages because as you may know as all of you know being in love and love is different feelings because being in love is when you're experiencing hormonal hurricane sorry i don't know how to name it when your hormones such as serotonin dopamine oxytocin and endorphin uh, sorry i'm not sure if I, if I said them right they all become wild you're looking like a lunatic or either way you have many energy and you can do a lot of things because you're really inspired or you can have the opposite of it when you can't eat cannot sleep can't do anything it's still called being in love but the feeling love is different because the feeling love, and I'm talking not only about romantic love, I'm also talking about friendship, about parental love, about uh, love for, I don't know, for, for everything, for your pets, and I'm talking about all of the types of love. You feel this feeling uh, because you have a hormone oxytocin, I maybe mispronounced it, uh, oxytocin is what make you love someone oh god this is such a difficult topic <laughs> I'm so struggling right now uh, many years ago when I was watching the cartoon <laughs> Rick and Morty uh, there was a phrase from Rick I, go I googled the phrase and he said something like listen Morty I hate to break it to you but what people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breed he it hits hard, Morty, but then it slowly fades, leaving you stranded in a failing marriage. So at first, when I heard this phrase, I was like, "Yes, finally someone understands me." <laughs> but when, but I was in a very nihilistic mood when I was <laughs> watching this episode many years ago. But many years later, after I reflected on this topic, I think I disagree with Rick. We cross wrong and wrong in a biology because I don't want to be a nerd, but I'm gonna be a nerd for a second. I'm sorry. There are different hormones that make people want to breed and that make you love someone. These hormones are different, and I sorry I can't not prove to you, but I know that oxytocin is uh, what you hormone that makes you love someone, and a bunch of other hormones sorry i'm not biologist i can tell you uh, make you 
make you last for another person. So he made a mistake when he said that. And he made a mistake twice, because he said that love is just a chemical reaction. But if you think about it, what is not a chemical reaction? Whole, whole human body is biology chemical laboratory. Everything that happens in your mind, everything that happens in your body, it's a chemical reaction. When you feel happy, it's a chemical reaction. When you feel sad, when you experience a pain, it's all chemical reaction. And uh, if you look at the glass of water, you can say, well, it's just a water. Or you can say, hmm, if you look at this glass of water for chemical reaction, it's, uh, how do I say it in English? H2O, or H2, sorry, I don't know how to say this. It's still chemical reaction. But if you look from the point of view of physics, of course, everything will be just particles and atoms. Because everything around you are made of this. It just depends on the point of view you're looking. If you're a poet, if you're a writer, then most likely you would view love and other things from the point of view of feelings and emotions. If you are an artist, you would look at love from the point of how to make illustration that would make people experience love or something like that. It just depends on which angle you decide to look. Okay, this is supposed to be <laughs> a romantic video, but I'm, but I'm struggling right now because when I try to discuss this topic, I find this very difficult. Please don't think about me like I'm some kind of robot and don't experience emotions or something like that. No, not at all. Uh, I love good love stories. I, When I was a kid, I was watching a lot of Disney cartoons and I loved romantic stories. And it's just sometimes to me it's much easier to rationalize very difficult topic and make it simple so I could understand it because uh, I don't know, I find this much easier for me. While some people can be very poetic and can talk about love in very beautiful, I don't know, very beautiful romantic sentences, I find this difficult sometimes. I mean, I can draw, um, I mean, I can draw and paint romantic pictures, and but when I have to explain this, it, I'm struggling, it's much easier for me to paint it than to explain what I'm feeling or what someone else is feeling. So what, why am I talking about all of this? I just wanted to tell that I hope that today it doesn't matter if you have a couple, if you don't have a couple, your, your day will be a good day. Because if you love someone, that you will spend time with them. If you don't have a couple, and if you have a lot of free time, and for example, you feel sad, I hope you won't be sad and would watch your favorite movies, or listen to your favorite music, or maybe you can go to the shops, because right now they're selling everything that looks in the shape of a heart and sometimes it's very tasty and uh, good things so maybe you can buy this if you have money if you have a time if you have a desire so in it would make you feel better and i just don't want to think that some people are sad today but in every holiday some people are sad and some people are happy because it's life I just hope that maybe this video will tell you something, maybe it will inspire you, maybe you will look at my drawing and become inspired, or maybe you completely disagree with everything I said, and that's okay too, because, uh, because everyone has different opinions, and maybe some of you will be horrified because like, how can you be so cynical? I'm not being cynical, I prefer to think 
myself、uh, as realist. So I hope that this, this day you would be happy. I wish you a happy holiday. And if you hate this holiday, I hope that this day will pass really quickly and tomorrow will be, and you will be happy in this day. So, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.